This camp is a huge week for USA Hockey to evaluate where we're at. This is mostly though a tryout for Worlds in April. So they get 40 players together. It's the perfect time because college girls are able to come because they're on break um, from their college teams and other girls get a break from their professional leagues. And we get to train together, play some great hockey. There's no level like this out there. And it's a great way for the coaches to see where, where we progressed since the last time they saw us. This is my favorite spot to have camps, partly because it is 20 minutes from my house, but also because I did grow up playing here, whether it was for tournaments in the summer, winter, uh, summer training programs, anything like that. And so it's really nice to just be able to come here and have everything so close. The dorms right there, the weight room right in here at the Herb Brooks Center. I just, the facilities here are fantastic. USA Hockey really appreciates that we do have such a great place to come to to train. It's different every time I come back to a USA Hockey camp. The first few times I was always extremely nervous because not only was it going to be really good hockey, it was faces I'd never seen, friends I didn't know yet, and so now coming back, it's like coming back to a family, so that part I really do enjoy. It's pretty easy to click on the ice and really easy. We have so much in common off ice that it's, it's a fun camp. My parents signed my brother and I up for hockey when we were about five and six, and well, it wasn't, a, it wasn't our only sport. We did a lot of soccer and tennis and just anything we could really get our hands on, I guess. But hockey was, over time, became my favorite. It was just always fun to be there. It was a sport I really enjoyed. I made, actually, pre-U18. It was about a U15 USA Hockey Development Camp. And that's when I realized I was actually okay at this thing. <laughs> and then I was lucky enough to go um, commit to the University of Minnesota. The freshman year was, uh, dream year. We went 41-0, and won a national championship, and then I had another dream year getting to play with the Olympic team and go to Sochi. I've been pretty lucky. After last year with the Olympic team, I put a lot more pressure on myself. I expect more, and I hope coaches expect more on me too. I learned a lot last year, and I, I've become more confident in my abilities. And one thing the coaches really pushed me to become better at was just being more aggressive. I'm a pretty big body, but I think from younger years, I would get penalties just for being bigger, and I took that with me throughout you know, my first year of college and the beginning of last year, and I was afraid to get you know, physical, but this is a pretty physical game at this level especially. Uh, you can't be afraid to get in there, and so that's something I've really stepped up. Something I gained last year besides all those technical things is just that, that confidence, I guess, in myself to know that I belong here now and that while I do have to fight for a spot, you know, nobody's given that, I at least am comfortable with this level and it's not as stressful as it used to be, I guess. Like I said, I gained that confidence on ice, but I think I gained it off ice too, just I became more comfortable with myself um, and I know that this is what I want to do and this is where I want to be. We'll just have to see where it goes, things change, I have to take it year by year. Um, lots of things can happen, but right now I would love to go for that 2018 gold medal.